so this is the whole processor of rice fortification process in which firstly rice kernels are converted into rice flour and it is then mixed with the premixes of vitamins Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I am Shruti Dubey and welcome back to the channel Food Keda with another video lecture series of food science and technology. So today's topic is food fortification, step towards healthier life. And if you want to level up your grades and simplify your studies with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon for more upcoming videos. We have known about lot of foods which deliver nutrients in the natural form and there are a number of processed food from which some of the nutrients lost because they are treated at high temperature while processing. That is why there are some foods which are being fortified, for example, salt, which we are consuming from many, many years. So therefore, in this video, we will talk about the introduction of food fortification, why there is a need of fortification, history of fortification, foods that are being fortified, types of fortification and lastly fortification process of rice, wheat, milk, edible oil and salt. Let us start with the introduction. It has been estimated that almost one third of global population suffers from micronutrient malnutrition also known as hidden hunger. The micronutrients like iron, vitamin B complexes, iodine, etc. All these are deficient in our diet and 70% of people in India do not consume enough micronutrients which causes several deficiency in children, lactating women and pregnant women and these deficiencies are vitamin A deficiency, neural tube defects, anemia, blindness, iodine deficiency and many more. To control micronutrient malnutrition, three changes can be done. First by making changes in the diet second through supplementation and third by fortification of food with selected nutrients. Food fortification is most effective and low cost method that does not require any changes in the dietary habits and it can be easily adapted. Now what is food fortification? Food fortification is the process of addition of micronutrients to food to improve the quality of a diet of a particular group, community or a population. Fortification of food with multiple nutrients is the best way of addressing deficiencies of two or more micronutrients in cost-effective manner. Fortification of food includes multiple nutrients such as vitamin D, vitamin A, iron, zinc, iodine, vitamin B12, folic acid, etc. And these are added in very small quantities to food such as rice, wheat flour, bread, milk, edible oil, salt, etc. which aims to increase the nutritional quality of food by maintaining the desired amount of micronutrient levels and to fight against hidden hunger in the world. History of Fortification Fortification has had a very strong track record. It has been seen that across the world, food has been fortified from early 20th century with vitamin A, vitamin D, B complex vitamins, iodine and iron and get positive feedback by doing this. So in 1924, salt was first iodized with iodine in both Switzerland and USA and after that in 1938, niacin has been added along with riboflavin and thiamine to the cereal products such as bread. Later on, marginin fortified with vitamin A and in Denmark and milk fortified with vitamin D in USA. And if we talk about the history of food fortification in India, so then from 1953, hydrogenated vegetable oil, which is also known as Vanaspati, is being fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D mandatory. And in 1993, universal salt iodization was mandated by government of India. Around 1998, folic acid was added to flour, baked goods and cereals. And later on in October 2016, FHSAI has taken the lead to draft the guidelines for food fortification and initiate the Food Safety and Standard Fortification of Foods Regulation 2006, which includes fortification of wheat flour and rice with iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid, milk and edible oil with vitamin A and vitamin D and double fortified salt with iodine and iron. And later, F plus F logo of fortification with tagline Sampoon Portion Swasth Jeevan has been notified to identify fortified foods. So what is the need to fortify foods? As we have already discussed that to fight against 
number of micronutrient deficiencies such as blindness, anemia, neural tube defects, fortification is done. But there are many reasons which causes such deficiency. It may be due to ignorance or unhealthy lifestyles which led to these disorders. Now, what is the difference between food fortification and food enrichment? Many people get confused between enrichment and fortification. So, we will simply differentiate between food fortification and food enrichment. Both terms means that nutrients have been added to make the food more nutritious, but the concepts are different. Food fortification is the process of addition of micronutrients to the food, whether the nutrients are present in the food before processing or not to improve the nutritional quality of food and when foods are labeled fortified with something that means that an extra amount has been added beyond the amount that was present before it was processed for example addition of iodine and iron to the salt whereas enrichment is the process of addition of micronutrients to a food which are lost during processing when foods are processed they often lose some of the important nutrients such as vitamins and minerals in the process. So, so then the foods are being enriched. If the food is labeled enriched, then the vitamins and minerals which were lost have simply been added back to restore to its original nutritional value. And many consumers think that enriched means that the food has extra nutrients added to it which will make it more nutrition but that is not true. It has simply been restored to its original state. For example, adding vitamin D in the milk and addition of vitamin B complexes in wheat flour. Now, let's discuss some basic terms related to fortification. First is fortification. So, according to WHO and FAO, fortification is the addition of micronutrients to the food which aims to increase the nutri nutritional quality of food by maintaining the desired amount of micronutrient label and to fight against hidden hunger or micronutrient malnutrition in the world. Next is fortificant. Fortificant is that particular substance which is added to the food as a source of micronutrient. But remember that it do not include any nutraceutical or any special dietary foods. Next is fortified foods. Fortified food is that particular food which has undergone the process of fortification. That means that fortified food is that type of food in which any particular amount of micronutrient is added. Some of the fortified foods which have seen in the market are wheat, salt, edible cooking oil, milk, rice and sugar. Let's look into what are the different methods of fortification. There are three types of food fortification method. First one is biofortification, second one is home or household fortification and lastly third one is industrial fortification. Biofortification is the novel technology of food fortification and it is the process of improving the improving the nutritional quality of food crops and this can be done through agronomic practices or biotech biotechnology based methods such as genetic engineering or genome editing, editing or by plant breeding. Simply, it is the process of growing crops to increase the nutritional value from the seed. And in biofortification, nutritional value of crop is improved during the plant growth stage. Some common example of biofortification of food crops are iron biofortification in rice, legume, sweet potato and zinc biofortification in rice, wheat and maize. Currently, biofortified pearl millet, rice and wheat are available in India and all of you have heard about golden rice, one of the most usually or known variety of genetically modified food crops and it is one of the most uh, one of the example of biofortified crop and it's still work and research is going on biofortification method second one is home or household fortification it refers to the fortification of food with one or more micronutrient at household level and it is the addition of powders containing vitamins and minerals to semi-solid foods immediately before consumption and this method is effective however it is more costly than the other methods last industrial method it is a large scale food fortification method in which micronutrients are added during processing to commonly consumed foods such as flour salt oil sugar and condiments wheat fortification 
Wheat is a major staple food of more than 50% of population and consumed in the form of wheat, wheat flour mostly. And it is an important part of a healthy diet and a key source of energy. So during milling process, nutrient losses takes this, which is added back by the fortification process. The process of wheat fortification was introduced in 2018 and in order to reduce the disease's burden, wheat flour is fortified with iron, folic acid, zinc, vitamin B12, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B6 and vitamin A to fight against anemia and blood formation. In the process of wheat flour fortification, powdered vitamins and minerals are added namely iron, folic acid and vitamin B12 in the form of premixes to some quantity of flour during the milling process using equipment called feeders which is located at the end of the milling process. So after this mixture of premix and some quantity of wheat flour is formed which is named as pre-blend which is further blended with the wheat flour to produce fortified wheat flour. And later quantitative and qualitative test methods have been done to check the presence of fortificants in fortified wheat flour. And finally, this fortified wheat flour is packed and reaches to the consumers. Rice fortification process. So the process of rice fortification was introduced in 2019 and it is being fortified with iron, folic acid, zinc, vitamin B12, vitamin A and zinc. Fortifying rice is an acceptable easy and efficient process to provide essential micronutrients to the citizen and in India rice is fortified through extrusion technology to fight against malnutrition and hidden hunger and in this extrusion technology process broken rice are used as raw material which grinds by the mill to convert them into rice flour and it is then mixed with the pre-mixes of essential vitamins and minerals in a mixture and after that they are mixed layer by layer for effective and even mixing and the mixture then passes through the pre-conditioner where steam is incorporated and transferred to the feeding hopper where water is added and during this whole process temperature and moisture is being continuously checked. Now hopper feeds the mixture to the Fin screw extruder machine and within this machine mixture is converted to the customized type of rice and after manufacturing the kernels passed to, through the dryer and screening is done and goes for the quality check and finally we obtain the fortified rice kernels. So after obtaining the fortified rice kernels these are mixed with the milled rice or regular rice and then blending is done and again after blending quality inspection is done to ensure that the kernels are blended properly or not and finally we obtain the fortified rice so the here fortification process is completed and later these fortified rice are being packed and reaches to the consumer so this is the whole processor of rice fortification process in which firstly rice kernels are converted into rice flour and it is then mixed with the pre-mixes of vitamins and minerals and finally the fortified rice kernels are obtained and it is finally then milled with the regular rice or milled rice and it is blended perfectly to form fortified rice. Milk fortification process. Milk is a rich source of high quality of protein, calcium and fat soluble vitamin a and vitamin D and during the milling processing when milk fat is removed or during the heat processing such as pasteurization or sterilization vitamin A and vitamin D are lost and to add these vitamin uh, vitamin again in the milk fortification process is done. So milk fortification process was introduced in 2017 and milk is fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D which helps to fill nutrient gaps and prevent iron deficiency in children and increase bone density and strength. Since in India, both young children and adults facing the problems of micronutrient mal malnutrition and due to this fortification of milk with certain micronutrient is a good, good strategy to address these deficiencies. Vitamin A is required by the body for good, good vision and vitamin D for calcium absorption and for enhancing the immunity. Milk fortification process sim involves simply the blending of 
free mixtures of vitamin A and vitamin D to the chilled milk and processed further and finally fortified milk is produced which goes for the quality check to confirm the presence of the fortificant. Next is edible oil fortification. More than 57% of children suffer from vitamin A deficiency and high proportion of pregnant women with their newborn suffers from vitamin D deficiency. Thus, fats and oils are preferred vehicles for vitamin A and vitamin D fortification. The process of edible oil fortification was introduced in 2018 and it is being fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D to decrease the risk of many chronic illnesses including common cancers, autoimmune diseases, infectious diseases, diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. The process of oil fortification simply involves blending of premixes and it does not require any equipment material. The premix blends to the small amount of oil to form pre-blend and then mixing the pre-blend with the refined oil on large scale either by the batch mixing process or by the continuous mixing method. And after this fortified oil is obtained which undergoes to the quality check for the presence of fortificant in it. And the last is salt fortification. Salt is another common staple food that is consumed by large population in the world. In 1920, uh, table salt was first fortified with iodine and from 2012, salt is double fortified with iodine and iron for the prevention of iron deficiency anemia and iron deficiency disorder. Double fortified salt is being manufactured either by ferrous sulfate formulation or by ferrous fumarate formulation. So here we will discuss ferrous for sulfate formulation in detail. In ferrous sulfate formulation, ferrous sulfate is mixed with sodium hexametaphosphate in fixed quantity set by the FSSI standards to stabilize the iodine and it is further mixed with refined iodized salt and form double fortified salt rich mix and this double fortified salt rich mix again blended to the refined iodized salt to form one ton batch of double fortified salt. So in this way, Using ferrous sulfate formulation, double fortified salt is formed. If we talk about ferrous form fumarate formulation, double fortified salt is formed using two processes. First one is encapsulation and second one is agglomeration. And in this way, using ferrous fumarate fumar uh, formulation also, double fortified salt can be produced. The advantages of food fortification are many. It is one of the most cost effective and safest way of delivering micronutrient to the food. It does not alter the organoleptic properties of the taste of the food and it lowers down the risk of the multiple micronutrient deficiency and it can be introduced quickly and accepted by the consumer. Food fortification does not require people to change their eating habits. You can add the fortificant in the diet of an individual also. So let's quickly sum up what you have learned. Food fortification is the effective way of delivering micronutrient to the population which are at risk of micronutrient deficiencies like anemia, iodine deficiency disorders, blindness, etc. Food fortification fills the gap between intake and daily needs and has a potential to enrich food and improve the lives of millions of children. So let's eat right, let's eat fortified and let's join hands to provide good health and quality of life to all. Thank you. If you found this lecture useful, do share it and hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you once again.